Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on this uh, depletion of stamina when we are in clock mode. So as you can see now the stamina depletes and once it's fully depleted the character will become visible again like this. So that's what we are going to work on today. And now we are not in this uh, clock invisible mode you can see stamina is regenerating so this is good uh, when we need to balance the character's powers because if we can infinitely stay invisible then there's no point to that power so yeah that's what we are going to work on today okay so at the moment when i enable the clock mode you can see I can stay in the clock mode as long as I need. There is no limitation, no power draining or anything. So what I'm planning to do is I have this stamina bar here and I'm at the moment it is bound to bound to the sprinting skills so sprinting drains it. So just like that I'm gonna drain stamina uh, when I am in the clock mode so we can limit it once we are out of stamina the character will be visible again okay so for that let me open the ALS anime so stamina is implemented here in the base character Here we have stamina data. So under stamina data we have stamina level, max stamina level, depletion rate. This is used for sprinting and regeneration. So we have this update stamina level function which is called in the tick graph and at the moment it only checks if we are in sprinting mode. If we are in the sprinting mode, the stamina will not be regenerated. So here, I think we can use this uh, clock enabled. But clock enabled variable is used uh, implemented in ALS anime so we can't access from ALS base character therefore let me rename this as clock enable 2 and in the base character I'll add variable clock enable and make it look clear I'll put it under the category clock right now if I compile we would have now I should be able to replace this uh, clock number two no let's see get clock enabled okay here this is the variable coming from the base character so clock, set clock enabled right this should be true where else we have used this okay it's not used anywhere so we can get rid of that now right now in the base character we can use this clock enabled and then here when we check this condition for 
to whether to deplete stamina or regenerate we can add the O so if we are splinting O if we are in the clock mode uh, stamina should be depleted and actually displacement is called here so we should consider this and also all oh, right we might we need another stamina depletion node here let's have a branch if we are if the clock is enabled we should deplete so depletion rate i can use the same thing from here right now let's check press 4 now you see the stamina is depleted and but we are still in clock mode so Here now we need to check if we are fully out of stamina. So how can we do that? Here, let's go back to the place where we enable the clock. Okay, so here we don't check if we have stamina at all. Therefore, we should check that actually. Uh, uh, so we can get stamina data and break and get height unconnected pins and get the stamina level. And we can check if stamina level is greater than let's say let's take a certain value um, max value is 100 okay so we let's say at least we should have more than 20 of a stamina level to actually go into the clock mode otherwise we would go into clock mode and it will vanish uh, instantly which is not useful in gameplay Launch. if it is higher we can go into the clock mode and after enabling um, how Perhaps we can run in a loop with the delay to check if we still have stamina, but uh, that would make things complicated. So maybe here we can have let's create a function on stamina. Completed. and then here yeah. let's again uh, well we can copy the same thing can check the stamina level and here yeah. if this is less Mm. 
if this becomes less than one let's say becomes less than one let's call on stamina depleted right now here we can override the function on stamina depleted here on stamina depleted we can call uh, what's the event toggle invisibility clock with the force right now let's see going to clock now you see it's depleting and we are back Regeneration speed is pretty fast. Uh, I think we should reduce it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wait, actually, not here because this is connected to event day which is which relies on uh, frame rate so instead of using it here well we should have a timer so timer let's have a custom event tick timer And just like here, I'll use this check moment state because we, I think we should update stamina only if we are grounded. So. We are grounded we should update the stamina level and we should call this tick timer in the begin play that is the begin play uh, timer by function name so the function name is this one tick timer time this should be looping and I think Perhaps point two. Now you see depletion rate is pretty slow, but this is independent from the frame rate. And if I go out, generate generation is also slow. Okay, so now we can have a better value. I'd say deflation rate one no point five right let's see now okay this speed is better and if I 
disable now you see it starts regenerating but with a much slower speed which is good for balancing the game all right so i think we can stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye